Muhammad Usman from VIT Academy. Today I'm going to tell you what is GNS3. It's actually a simulator. You can add routers, especially Cisco routers inside GNS and you can configure them and you can practice how to configure them actually. You can make a big projects and practice them at your home, at your local laptop. So it's a really good tool. The hands-on tool to make you professional. So in order, so this is GNS3, which I told you, uh, we in we will install this one today, and I will tell you how to install this uh, GNS3. In our case, we have already downloaded GNS3 latest version, and I'm gonna install this one. I will make a basic configuration like location for. I mean, I will set a location for a project where you can save your projects and if you can save your configurations and all that stuff after configuring after making for example you make a today today you make a plan and you start work on that one you can save it and you can continue work tomorrow so for this issue here we have another thing that adding ios from preferences in added drop down if you go to i mean add it Click on this one, get a drop down list and select your iOS as, as per my video. So we will start and you will see all these steps I am following. Dragging router to add topology. I will drag a router and I will put it, add it in a topology and I will make a connection between, I will make a connection. It's made actually. I will make a connection between two routers. And I'll show you from where you can make a connection, and then you can start. To install GNS3, you just need to click on. You need to download this GNS3 variant from internet. I have already downloaded latest variant from the internet, and you just need to go to GNS3 website, official website, and you can download from there free. I mean, it's free tool. You can download anytime. So double click on this one. Uh, click next in order to install. We are now proceeding with installation. I will click. I agree. I agree your terms and conditions. I'm gonna agree this one. And GNS will leave it default in the same name folder. Folder name with the same. If you have WinP cap, you can install. Otherwise, you can neglect this one. And I will not install Wireshark. Because I don't have internet, uh, I will click. Uh, we will skip this Y short because we don't have internet right now. That's why. So I'll go next. I will install in default browser folder. I will install. See, it says that it's already installed. WinCap, WinPCap 413 variant is already installed in this machine. So we can cancel. So if we press OK, it will force install. Otherwise, we can cancel. We have option to cancel this one. It means it will not retry, and it will skip this one. There are a few packages we we can download and install. So I already canceled those steps. I did not install them because I don't have internet. If you have internet, you just can go on and press retry. It will not ask you to retry. It will install automatically. It will download and install automatically. Our installation is complete now. So we have already installed SolarWind standard tool set. We are not going to purchase license of $2,000. So I will say no. I will not purchase it. And start GNS. It will start GNS in front of us. Uh, it take us to website. Here we go. It's started now. Local GNS VM, we are not going to do this right now, so we can cancel it easily. It's not a part of installation. I will make another video for this process. So, this will be location if you want to configure something, if you want to try something. So, you can make projects, you can name a project here, it will open directly. But in case if you close it, so you can see one project one, for example. And you can set the location, any location like I'm gonna go to E Drive, GNS3, 
from here I can for example I can make a new folder and I can name it projects so in this folder I can save all this stuff when I configure when I make a design when I configure and save configuration all this stuff will go there so I will press ok now actually I don't have any iOS installed yet so our routers will not work in our case to, in order to install this one so guys in order to install iOS in this uh, DNS3 you just need to go to edit and preferences here you can search for your router for example we are going to go for router we are not going to install with VMs in VirtualBox or VMware or Kima and we are not even going to I mean give it iOS or Unix or something we are going for iOS routers so I click on that one and select a new one and from the new image or existing image I will go to new image for example like this and I will give it an image any image I have in my computer yes uh, it's, that's no problem we need to give it image file we have ISO file iOS file it, all, it will figure it out itself next which kind of platform okay this router the which is c and the name anything this is an ethernet switch router okay not exactly click next how much ram we want to give it it's uh, okay 192 is default we can leave it like this and slots you can configure now or you can leave it and you can configure later also so any interface you need you can install for example you can give it interfaces so we will do it later if we need it so go on click next idle pc value idle pc finder it will find idle pc first and it will find a few values in front of you and you need you need to select the best, best value in order to idle pc actually if you don't do idle pc this uh, will take a lot of processing a lot of ram usage so to fix this issue sometimes you have a big topology you need to configure a lot of routers a lot of switches or such a stuff you have virtual machines also then you have to go for with uh, idle pc in order to mitigate the um, to limit the limit the processing itself it oh it's great it's a new version i'm installing first time idle pc value has been found suitable for your ios it, it already find and it fixed it, uh, itself uh, we did not need to select the best value it already selected it it himself selected it itself selected finish it's done now i will apply and save in order to give it more router see here we have one router now we can give it one more router if we want but in right now we are not going to do this you can follow same step again and you can add routers so we got this router here with all this specs anyway we will apply and save okay from here now you can just uh, check which router we have only one router one iOS added so you can add this router in topology for example you can have two routers like this and you can make a connection like this automatic connection or any way if you want which interface this and router that's it so this is done you can start them and they will run now and you do not need to uh, idle pc if you see the local cpu usage and ram usage is not like 100 percent and 99 percent or something so because we have already done idle pc i hope you like the video